Hi, welcome to Soul Star 444. This is Shirley with your energy read for all of the earth signs for August 2019. I'm working with the Angel Tarot by Jane Rollins. And this is going to be a uh, love spread. We're going to look at your past experience in love, your current experience what you would like from a relationship, what you need from a relationship, what you have to give to your lover, and also the possible future experience in love. Okay, so let's get into it. of pentacles and lots of wands okay so we're starting out with the two of cups cups is all about emotional fulfillment partnership and this is what your past experience was you um, you were bringing a lot of emotional and creative energy to your relationship you had, um, you were guided by your heart and also your passions. You were feeling very strongly in touch with your imagination and intuitive side. This is about partnership, attraction, friendship. These relationships are in balance with equal giving and taking. Close friendships often come up as the two of cups. So a good friend shows you just how much they value your bond. Appreciate your soulmates wherever they may be. Okay, and then Four of Pentacles, which is all about Earth energy. So we have order, security, and conservatism. Conservatism. So if you may have been feeling any kind of financial stress recently, this Four brings reassurance that your situation will be improving. It reveals security. It reveals um, conscientious control over your financial situation. This also represents traditional attitudes. You may be feeling stuck in old habits and beliefs, but you can surely recognize them and release them. Security may be what we all wish for, but too much emphasis on the material wor world can stifle an adventurous spirit. So try to find a balance that works for you. This is what you're current experiencing right now in love. And then we have the Six of Wands, which is all about fiery energy, action, recognition, victory, progress, and also self-confidence. And this is what you're wanting. You're wanting this victory with a, a, a new partner or a curtain partner. This is the most positive cards in the minor arcana. This is about others acknowledging your achievements so you can hold your head high as it gives you validation that you have been waiting for. This comes up to predict good marks in exams or tests. and It has a very good pos positive outcome. And then what you need from a love partnership is the three of pentacles okay so we're in um, reputation teamwork collaboration and what you're needing is action in these areas where you're feeling that your work is being acknowledged and it it doesn't show completion but it does indicate that you've reached a first goal or even the first stage of a project so you may be successful in any kind of job interview or talk or speech or even a workshop that is witnessed by one or more people that will applaud you and spur you on so you can keep moving forward towards your dreams, towards your goals, towards whatever it is that you're trying to manifest in the material world. This also comes up in a reading to, to show that there will be acceptance speeches and it could even indicate performing on stage and presenting your home to potential buyers okay and then 
what you have to give to your lover is judgment. So the ruling planet is Pluto. And this is all about karma, karma and the right choice. So you're being, you know, faced. This is angel of the past and you're being faced with the right choice. This is about destiny and fate linked with resurrection, recovery and rebirth. This is the soul, the souls of the dead that are awakening and arrive from their graves. This is summoned by the great archangel Michael and his angels. These are symbols that are about rebirth, ultimate transformation as well, and regeneration. This is about healing past wounds as well. And uh, this marks a significant stage in your life along your journey that you've been taking and this is what you have to give so decide what you want from life now so you can direct your future changes and desire dreams and manifest them and then we have the two of wands which is about great progress So if you've been feeling a little impatient or frustrated, now is the time to um, stay positive because you are making progress. This is about partnerships and planning. These, this also could also indicate meeting a kindred spirit or even a possible romantic partner, friend, or colleague who broadens your vision and inspires you to think innovatively, looking beyond beyond your situation, looking um, externally and globally. This also offers ideas, inspiration, as well as unexpected opportunities as you glimpse at the bigger picture and you can see how you might develop your skills even further. Perhaps it's um, in speaking, perhaps it's in a writing, whatever uh, you are being drawn to. You can build upon and develop those higher income skills that will take you further along your career path. This is also about education. This too asks you to invest time in planning. It also invest time in yourself so you can make most of your time and energy. This is the possible future experience in love as you broaden your horizons and expand where you are and where you're going and invest in yourself. Okay, now we're going to go to the, get some messages from our angel romance uh, oracle. I please have some messages for our earth signs for August 2019. Okay, so this is, the angels are asking you to give your relationship a chance and to work on your partnership. That also means working on yourself, whatever areas you feel that you need to be working on as well, and to give your relationship a chance. Also, to come with a playful attitude, a lightness of heart to recapture romance is being asked of you. Allow your inner youthful spirit a fun to shine, so a, place, a playful approach, a light-hearted approach. The angels are asking you to make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, and you will be guided, so it's important for you to listen to your intuition at this time as you are guided to make the effort. It's important to keep an open mind as your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So be open to receiving a different type of soulmate. And then study your stay optimistic about your love life through positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So if you're feeling frustrated, um, it's very important to stay optimistic and love yourself at this time. Romance yourself. 
separation. This, this is about time apart from your par partner is on the horizon. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. It's time to free yourself. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Let's see what pay attention to the red flags. A little more uh, information on that. Because you notice the unhealthy or disconcerting parts of your relationship. If you're swept up in a new romance, this serves as a cautionary warning. Also pay attention to your feelings. Okay, pay attention to your to your feelings. Don't allow emotions to blind you to characteristics or habits that will not work for you in a relationship. Because what you want to do is you want to attract healthy relationships in your life, not toxic. So what does the red flag mean? It's a sign that something may be off. And this can include an indication of dishonesty or disrespect or flirtationist with others. This can also indicate substance abuse or lack of integrity. While your new love interest may treat you wonderfully well in the beginning of your relationship, it's vital that you watch how he or she treats others. Someone's basic character is revealed by the way in which he or she talks and acts with the restaurant staff, with valet parking attendants, and other miscellaneous individuals. Okay, so that's this message is to be consciously aware and qualify whoever, whatever, in your future relationship. Qualifying is what I just um, spoke. So those are the red flags. How does this person treat others? How do they act? Um, the other message is red flags also are markers along the path of healing. They will guide you to take steps that are healthy for everyone involved. Because what you want are now to manifest in your life are healthy relationships that are based on integrity, trust, loyalty, honesty. And you can lead by example. You can live your life by those qualities and you will naturally attract positive, healthy relationships into your life that reflect your integrity, your honesty, your loyalty, your truth. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed your love reading. And click the link below if you'd like more information on my services. I also do Reiki energy healing. And uh, you can find more out about that at angelheartlovereiki.com. Also, if you'd like a private reading, you can also click that link below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm sending you so much love and light along your journey. And I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful month. Thank you again and bye for now.